Tyler, moment of truth. We are live. We are live. This is the moment of truth. Tyler is on tech. Will is beside me. Hi, everybody. Which means that if, if I'm here and it's only me, Tyler, and Jill, this could be a train wreck. But. No, this is going to be fantastic because, I, hi, everybody. I'm Jill Simonian from PragerU Kids, director of outreach from PragerU Kids. I hop on here once a week because we like to talk about education headlines and what is happening in our kids' schools, what is happening in our communities that is really compromising our kids' education. Uh, today, we got a crazy headline out of hong kong but first happy independence day yes happy <laughs> independence day i mean not yet but soon soon maybe you're watching this in three days soon i say you know you know it's friday eve we're going into the weekend it is independence day we have so much to be thankful for here in america and i think this year i, I was talking with a bunch of mom friends of mine all of the any of the moms and parents that are watching this feed right now uh we were talking the other day, and 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 it, it was actually about our PragerU Fly the Flag campaign that's happening now. Mm -hmm. We want all of you to fly the flag on your social media pages, flood your feed with the American flag. But we were saying how this year is so feels so much more important to really be thankful and show our kids how grateful we are to live in America. So that's why. I'm celebrating Independence Day a little bit early, so that's why. <laughs> Celebrate it all year, to be honest. I know. That's what I do. Yes. Every day is Independence Day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, and then right here, I'll hold it up. Ahead of celebrating Independence Day, from PragerU Kids, our brand new Autos Tales, the National Anthem and Pledge of Allegiance book, children's book for kids. This hit number one in a variety of categories. I'm showing it off. If you haven't gotten it yet, for your youngest learners, pick it up on Amazon. You can find more at PragerU.com slash kids books. And uh, maybe that's why I'm celebrating a lot, because we have this brand new book and it's become a bestseller instantly. And our kids are getting so excited to, uh, to really learn the national anthem and pledge of allegiance through the adventures of Otto and a very young Dennis with gray hair. So yeah, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm celebrating. Okay, the headline. We have a very scary, and I don't want to say scary, I don't want to be an alarmist, but we do have- I think it's scary. You, you are justified in saying that. Okay, good, good. I've been, I've, I've been, you know, recognized for sometimes being an alarmist with my words. Why are you trying to make everything so scary? But you're right, Will, it is scary. We have a headline from an article that Barry Weiss, of course, formerly from the New York Times, and she's holding our schools and education system accountable now with her um, uh, revelations about wokeness in our schools. So the headline is, when a free society becomes a police state. And I think, can we see a scroll of this, Will? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this article went live by Barry a few days ago, and reading it was certifiably frightening uh, because even though this particular, and I, wa I want to make sure, Tyler, that we do leave the link in the comments so people can see, even though this telling of what happened to Apple Daily, the only pro-democracy newspaper in Hong Kong recently, th th this, we, we should all be on guard in terms of, you know, our freedoms being taken away and um, a free society really being squashed. Um, if you do not know what Apple Daily is, it was Hong Kong's version of the New York Post. And it was kind of known as a tabloid, but it was also known as a voice of freedom. And it was one of the only, like I said, only pro-democracy newspaper in Hong Kong. It was founded by a guy named Jimmy Lai. Jimmy Lai, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But uh, in short, Jimmy is in jail now. And recently, the authorities stormed in and shut down the entire newspaper. And Jimmy is in a jail cell for unauthorized assembly. And and they shut down one of the only free press outlets in Hong Kong. And it is disturbing and alarming. And um, one of the journalists, if I, I want you to go ahead and read the article, because one of the journalists that worked at this, uh, at this newspaper said, I hope people not only in Hong Kong can understand what happened at Apple Daily and also treasure what they have in their own home country as well. And as an American, I read that and 
I got nervous because I see what's happening with our press here in this country, mainstream media. And, and I take this very, very personally because those of you who know me know that I have a background in television, news and media. And to see the compromising of our mainstream media is very scary. And it's something that I think all of us parents need to talk to our kids about. We need to talk to our kids about the First Amendment. We need to talk about what it what it means to have free speech and how special it is in, that country, in our country. And we need to talk about the right to assemble and the right to voice our concerns and protests. And, and reading this um, article by Barry Weiss, she closes with, if the CCP is willing to do that to the world, to shut down pro-democracy newspapers in Hong Kong, if it is willing to swallow Follow up a city of more than 7 million people in broad daylight, crushing the free press, crushing dissent, and jailing journalists. You have to ask yourself what or who will come next. All of the people in America take it for granted. They take the First Amendment for granted. I would go to marches, speeches, different types of leftist things happening in L.A. and across the country, and you have people there protesting that they want their First Amendment taken away, basically. When I went to a pro-Second Amendment rally, or an anti-Second Amendment rally, they want their Second Amendment taken away from them. And they don't realize how precious this is, how America was founded on the value of that you have the ability to protest your government. You have the ability to speak freely, practice what, uh, whatever belief system you want. And people nowadays are like, we don't care about any of that because if you say something that hurts my hurts my feelings then you shouldn't be allowed to say it then you have a society that's that's like that what you need to do in america if we really want to fix this get rid of safe spaces and make them dangerous spaces where people are able to come and have all of their ideas be freely expressed because if you don't you're going to have a place like the ccp and people won't be able to express themselves i know and i'm no you're absolutely right and i i giggled there i don't know if anyone could audibly hear it i giggled there it is so not funny but the reason why i laughed is because in my kids schools and parents weigh in leave your comments tell us if this is happening at your school too literally will in my kids schools the words safe spaces, climate of care, inclusion, I mean, you know, inclusion is a good thing. We all want to be included and we want our diversity of opinion to be heard. But what I have experienced now in our schools is that diversity of opinion, if you're not on the side that they are, is squashed and it's not seen as valid and it's wrongly classified as hate speech. I mean, last week we saw the uh, the the reveal of the Iowa schools saying that the phrase make America great again is at the top of what's considered a white supremacy pyramid where lynching is at the top and then the phrase make America great again is right underneath. I mean, this is the squashing of free speech in our schools and they're not teaching kids what true free speech is. They're not teaching our kids what it really means to be you. Right? They say all these words, but then they say, oh, we want to create a climate of care. And at PragerU Kids, what we're trying to do is re reassert what free speech really is and educate our children. And we have to we have to talk about this. You know, th this Hong Kong issue is not happening in America, but at the same time, it is, right? Mm -hmm. Climate of care is just a way to indoctrinate. That's all it is. Yeah. When you say climate of care, all you want to do is brainwash people into thinking only one way instead of having them have a holistic view of the world and things going on or be able to express different ideas. It's like, here's the leftist agenda. We're going to tell you this. And if you disagree with us, then you're a racist and we put you on our racist watch list. But it's funny because we just saw that right wing watch. I don't know if you're familiar with this, this YouTube channel. They're called right wing watch. And they, oh, they're like they're like leftists and they got censored on YouTube. Because apparently they broke guidelines and it's like now their own standards of that the left has of saying no this is hate speech you can't say this are coming back and hurting them and it's like Siri can you say irony that's exactly <laughs> what this is you know so we'll see how this goes and if the left is actually able to keep this up but I don't know. It's a scary time to be in America with all the censorship and anti-free speech going around. It is a scary time and as parents have to step up. I will I know you're not a parent yet. I don't think so. No you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, when you get there, when you get to my stage, so to speak, it becomes increasingly terrifying to know that our children are really, like you said, being indoctrinated. And indoctrination is a very strong word that I frankly would avoid using at all costs. But 
it is indoctrination now. Um, anyways, I want to. I, 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 so, uh, with this article, with this news about Apple Daily being shut down in Hong Kong, I want to share with you. Have you seen one of our new digital magazines up at PragerU Kids? It actually goes live uh, tomorrow. If you're watching this live, it's going to go live tomorrow on PragerU.com/kids under our digital magazine section for third through fifth graders, uh, and it is one of our magazines that discusses geopolitical topics of the world and this magazine is called children around the world free hong kong are we watch are we looking at the screenshot mm -hmm. now okay yep. great i can't see the screen so i don't know what's on the screen <laughs> but it's called free hong kong and it's about a little boy named kyo kyo fights for freedom there you can see the title there and it's interesting that Barry Weiss's article went live a few days ago, yet we have been working on this di digital magazine about Keo in Hong Kong fighting for freedom and Keo's dad there that you see on the cover, James. Oh wait, is that his dad? That might be his dad right there in the tie. Yes. James works in, in our digital magazine that talks about Keo's life and how they fight for freedom and what life is like in Hong Kong. It's fabulous for third through fifth graders, also sixth graders and up. Uh, James is a journalist at a Hong Kong newspaper that gets censored. And we have been, I, I, literally, this Barry Weiss article hit the web and we all at the PragerU Kids team were uh, emailing and texting each other saying, Oh my goodness, what how look at how this aligns with the values and the information that we're trying to teach our kids through our uh, PragerU kids uh, programming here. And 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 this is a great tool for parents to use to explain these topics and current events that are happening now, like free speech, First Amendment. I tell my kids all the time, and now it's starting to backfire on me, full disclosure. I say, in this country, we have free speech. You can say what you want, you can do what you want, you can uh, protest, you could say, so now they start saying, I think we need to have ice cream for breakfast, and I think that it's free speech. I said, okay, let's you know back it up a bit. But <laughs> It's free speech, but it doesn't mean you're right. <laughs> exactly. That's like most of the liberals and leftists exactly. in America. Yes, exactly. You have the right to say it, even if you're horribly wrong. <laughs> but ice cream for breakfast also isn't the worst idea. It's not. <laughs> and it is free speech. And you can say that you want ice cream for breakfast as much as you want. But anyway, uh, anyway, I, got, I derailed that a little bit. But this magazine, which is perhaps maybe our most important, uh, relevant digital magazine, uh, right now with what is happening in the world and what is happening with the uh, climate of censorship around the world it is um it's it launches this week and it goes live friday what's tomorrow friday what tomorrow's july? friday tomorrow's June, friday july second july second july right? yes so get your kids click on it read it with them and open these conversations. That's what we want to do with all of our shows and magazines is to open these conversations, to tell our kids the truth because we cannot live by censorship and lies anymore. Right? Exactly. Amen. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know about most <laughs> of this stuff going on. I didn't know what Hong Kong was growing up as a kid. I truth. I still don't know that much about it. And I myself <laughs> read that. Don't laugh at me. I'm really putting okay. myself out there now. If you guys I, in the comments, I can explain it to you if you don't know what I it is. I read this magazine before doing this live. And literally, I mean, I have the copies of it here. Let's just show them, folks. I have the copies. The, the unauthorized copies, black and white. It's a lot prettier when you look at it online. But I was reading all of the material, and I did not know. I was never taught most of this. Yeah. In school. Well, they don't like to talk about Hong Kong too much in school because of how well it does. It's a very free enterprise capitalist society in opposition to what China is doing. It has a GDP per capita that's five times higher than China. So they don't like to teach that kind of stuff. No, no. but we have to teach our kids. Yes. We have to teach our kids. All right. Do we have any comments, Tyler? I don't know. I'm putting Tyler on the spot. You're doing a great job. Tyler, you've been sitting in that chair perfectly. Oh, I've never seen anyone first sit there better. Ti first time out of the gate, we have Tyler, the amazing Tyler, running Tyler's all of the technical intern. stuff in the back. Yes. So you can refer to him there as Tyler, is. the intern. There he is. I think Tyler and I share an alma mater. I won't say what it is for <laughs> privacy purposes, but we share an alma mater. <laughs> Do we have any comments? Maybe, um, maybe not. not He's looking. Many, no. All right, not too many. All right, well, anyways, go to PragerU.com Prager slash kids. 
Check out our Children Around the World series of digital magazines. Open these conversations with our kids and really, really give it all you got, parents, to 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 communicate with our kids and celebrate what America is about. Not only for this weekend, Independence Day, but like Will said, all year round. Because if we do not teach our kids what the ideals that this country was founded upon, we're not gonna have a country anymore. No, we are not. And it's really sad to say that. I know. A corporatist socialist state is coming. <sighs> Don't say that. <laughs> are you joking me? Oh wait, he just said that. Do not. But we won't let it happen. <laughs> no. Prager you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Become a member of Prager You Kids. Subscribe. Become a member. Join us. And uh, thank you for watching. Any final words for the 4th of July weekend? Um, don't go too crazy. Have a good time. Be safe. And hashtag fly the flag. Go and to, uh, sing happy birthday to America. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it, guys.